uh, Des from Aerotero, and I think I got the camera si <laughs> situated all right. <laughs> I've got it like in between my two screens, just because I have decks over there where I usually put it, and also because like I feel like it's easier to just look this way. <laughs> I don't know. I have to look at the screen for when I drop because I'm doing day 17, which was actually two days ago. Um, it's dark. Why is it so dark? It's so weird. Is it because I don't have my freaking internet on? Wow. Who knew that just having freaking Google sitting there would lighten up the room so much? Um, mm. Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking about opening up the curtains, but considering the lights over there, I don't think it's going to affect me. It's considering I seem to be very dark over here. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm doing day 17, along with some other days. I don't know. At least up to 19. I'll do 18 and 19 as well. Um... But I could also maybe do 20... And 21, maybe two? I don't know. I'll see. Just keep that. Yeah, so, um, basically, day 17 was draw, paint, or sketch your favorite tarot card and talk a little about the card while you're drawing. My favorite card's a court card, and, like, with. In court cards, you could really talk, start talking about personality, but, like, it's a bit different for different cards. And that's just kind of how it is for, like, all of them. When I think of, like, a card. Is the camera leaning? I can't tell if the camera's leaning. It looks like it's leaning, but it looks straight on there. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, when it comes with any of the tarot cards, for me, it's very just kind of keywordy, simple, unless I'm going into depth about a certain card. I don't know. Um, so it's kind of hard to just keep talking about a single card, <laughs> you know, without actually talking about a card from a deck, you know. So, um... That's why I figured that while drawing, I could just answer some other questions. Since I don't know how long it's going to take. I didn't know what I was going to draw either. Like, I just decided this this morning when I was uh, laying in bed. <laughs> like, about to get up. I was like, yeah, I can make that. I can make that. Uh, especially since I draw, like, I, I have to look at something in order to draw. So, yeah. <laughs> it was going to be... Uh, maybe like the Knight of Cups, which is the card I'm um, gonna draw. Um, from the deck I want to make, but then I was like, no, that's got painting. It's gonna take forever. Not really. It's not gonna take forever. It's just very simplified. I just didn't feel like getting all the paint out. <laughs> um. I feel like I would just go pencil since that's what I usually do. Um, <clears throat> so then I was like, mm, what am I going to do? And then I was like, mm, I'm playing some more Destiny 2 again. So let me draw one of the characters I have in there. So She seems kind of Knight of Cupsy. So let's do it. <laughs> um, as I said though, like... Just for an, I figured I'd just have an, I have, I have one of my sketchbooks out, so I'm like, let's just do an example, especially since I don't draw very often. Like, when you mean that you gotta look at stuff, like, what does that mean, Des? Um, I actually, um, even in school, I usually just do portraits. <laughs> like, here's just one portrait that I did, um, all of that hatching. That was one of the four portraits on one of the, uh, tarot cards that I made my one dick or like I don't know like just me just doing doodle I was trying to like do it that was when I was trying to come up with another style and try doing profiles and oh there's my 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 main character that I like in Dragon Age that you know, my character Yes, the other one was from Dragon Age 2. Or, like, I still love how this one came up. She's, um, I don't know if the camera's picking up. It looks kind of wonky on camera. She's a character from, um, I still don't know the name her from this video game idea I have. She's one of my two main characters. But, like, that one I surprisingly just kind of did on my own. 
Same with this. I was very happy with me just kind of doodling that. Um, but yeah, usually I have to look at something in order to draw it, and I dropped the cap. Ah! Um, <laughs> got a bunch of whoopee cap there, I think. Um, or even like the last thing I doodled was my character. I just kind of doodled her. Um, so yeah, I figured why don't I just doodle one of my video game characters in my video game. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, doodle her. I probably won't film, I don't know if I'll film the whole thing. I might just doodle it. I don't know how much I'd even go into shading or anything. I don't know, I'll start late, I guess. Um, I just figured I'd just say a few things about that and then maybe get into the questions. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open the game. I've got it on headphones, so you shouldn't really hear the music of it too much. But I can hear the boys! Shouting out on that hay! Yeah, um... I'm playing Destiny 2 a bit more, um... The last people that are joining our clan, I think, just finally got the game. So, they've got a level. Everyone's got a level. I'm like, oh, there's some light? There's some light. There we go. Um... See, I was just, just waiting for the level. I just sit in 25. I think my power is at 310. Although, that's with the one weapon, which I don't really like. My one weapon that's kind of better, even though it's lower power, I think puts me down to 308, though. I need to get better auto rifles. But yeah, I don't really play often. Just because I was freaking waiting, because we were making a raid team. It's, it's loading as I'm talking. <laughs> um, but... I figured uh, I'd play a bit more and just level another character. You like share pretty much everything but armor between your characters, so why not? Um, my main one's a warlock. This one is a titan character that I made because Mom and Worm, they play Hunter, so I'm like, I'm gonna play Titan. I'm gonna make this cute Titan, man. She's adorable. Like my warlock, he's adorable too, but she's like freaking frolicking through the flowers adorable so i thought i don't i still have no idea how the freak i'm gonna do this because she's stuck at one pose but I, it's probably just gonna be really sketchy but anyway um gosh i'm hungry but i don't know what to eat <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so yeah uh and i really wish i had a profile view of her but i don't have a profile view of her um is this why you plant stuff out beforehand? I th I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start doodling and see what happens. Don't move, <laughs> my Titan. <laughs> um, okay, so Knight of Cups. Um, when I think of the Knight of Cups, I think of Nightwing. To be honest, um, I've said this numerous times because I always bring up the Dragon Age. And, um, what? Not Dragon Age. Stop talking about Dragon Age. I was just thinking about that. Um, no, uh, the Justice League. Um, tarot. I since that was like my main deck and it's my main deck so my first one I got um and I just love Nightwing and he's the Knight of Cups in it so I automatically assume I automatically think of Nightwing when I think of the Knight of Cups um and I always love it when I get a deck that has like the Knight of Cups in it and I like that Knight of Cups it's always a plus it's always a plus but I don't necessarily have to have it looking good Um, I don't, I never talk while drawing unless I'm talking to a person, so this is kind of weird. <laughs> um, especially since I can't zoom in on my character. I haven't taken any pictures of her in cutscenes yet, because I'm just trying to get through the story. Um, but anyway, um, Knight of Cups. Um, I always think of a knight in shining armor as well. It's very simple. I think of a knight in shining armor. The whole... Um, optimistic, he's like, he's not, he's not a dreamer like the page because he's going for it. He's just, he's got an idea in his head and he's just going for it. Considering he's a knight, he's also a romantic. Yeah, 
Yeah, just simple. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to talk about, like, uh, I think the most I could talk about is maybe, like, the Queen of Swords, but she's not my favorite. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, yeah, just optimistic. He could be kind of artsy, too. Not necessarily, though. I mean, Nightwing's not. Nightwing, it was more so if it's because I think of... I made that too sticking out when I drew it. Oh no. Just redo it. Um because of his like uh still having faith in the world and he's pretty lighthearted. Also I, I mainly think of him with the ladies. <laughs> He's had, like, a lot of relationships. Although the two big ones most people associate with him is with Starfire and Batgirl. I don't really know what to feel about Starfire, because I know, uh, Starfire, why am I saying that? Um, Starfire. Except for, like, what I'd seen in Teen Titans, the TV shows. I've mostly just been reading the New 52. And then, you know, the Rebirth. I know that I don't like him with Batgirl, but that's just because, um, my childhood has influenced me on that because I don't like Batgirl. And Tez, why don't you like Batgirl? She's such a cool character. I don't like Batgirl. <laughs> I'm talking about Batgirl now. I don't like Batgirl just because, um, I grew up watching Batman the Animated Series and, well, she seemed okay in, like, uh, you know, like, before the artwork changed, it was, like, the new Batman the Animated Series or whatever. Um, she seemed okay, but then afterwards, like, especially, like, with how, like, Nightwing was, like, acting, and just, yeah, it just felt so, like something was really off, and, like, I just did not trust her. And I just, I was like, mm, mm. Like, you know? And then I found out later, like, years later, that the direction they went in the comics that spun off it was that, well, she was, uh on break with uh with dick <laughs> she uh she had a relationship with bruce and i was like what and even had a miscarriage of his kid uh bruce deserved that punch like it's it was just kind of weird like any pairing of like freaking batgirl and batman is freaking weird because you've got the whole mentor freaking you know it's just kind of weird um but yeah, I was like, oh, maybe that's why I didn't, I had that bad feeling. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I went off topic there. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to really say, you know, about the Knight of Cups. So I figured that during this time I could just maybe answer some of the other questions. Because 18 is share one of the new things you learned about tarot in the last year. And when I had recorded this before, I had said that the one new thing that I had learned um in the new year that i thought was cool was uh, how much tarot decks have personalities because that wasn't really something that i knew too too much about you know like i just just kind of just jumped into the tarot man and then i find out like as i get more decks how much they have their own personalities and it's kind of cool And so yeah, if I that would probably be the one thing is how all these decks paper fell over. How all of these decks have their own kind of personalities going on. I'm trying to get the eyes right. Cause they're not human eyes, they're robot eyes. Cause I only play exos. Because why not? Because they're cool robots. Literally, my whole reasoning for finally getting this game. Because, like, m mom was like, I'm going to play. And I'm like, oh, it looks cool, you know. I've, I've never played the first one. Mom got it, but she never played it either. And then, um, you know, I was like, oh, you know. And then, then I saw Cade, and I'm like, man, he's a good-looking robot there. And then I was like... You can make hot robots? OMG, I'm gonna make a cute, adorable robot, man. And so that's the whole reason I got this game. 
It was to play with a cute little bot. Um, <laughs> man, I really can't see the star on her head very much. Um, but yeah, uh, deck personalities. Um, that would be the one thing I'd share. Then, day 19, which is today, share which tarot deck out there gives you the heebie-jeebies. And this one, I don't actually have a specific tarot deck. Not like a specific one. It's more along the lines of just certain things they'll give me the heebie-jeebies. And that's what I was going to talk about one. I, I pre-recorded a bunch of these, but I just decided I'd just re-record all of them. Um, but yeah, it basically like nudity to like some nudity it kind of depends anything sexual wise mm, no i know heebie jeebies wise more so though is like anything that deals with pregnancy um breastfeeding stuff like there's this one deck uh crap what was the name of it oh i can't remember it is it Terra the Sacred Feminine, maybe? And I thought the artwork was really cool in the deck, till I saw, like, that one card where, like, I think there's a character that's, like, just lactating or whatever, and I was like, mm, no, I ain't giving that deck, you know? Like, other people can like it, that's cool. I just, mm, no. <laughs> I, I, it, it makes me uncomfortable. So, like, you know, it's not like a heebie-jeebie scary way, it just, it makes me uncomfortable. Like, anything about pregnancy makes me uncomfortable. I don't like that stuff. It's great that I don't want kids either. And I don't have to worry about any of that stuff because I am really sacrificed when it comes to myself. <laughs> don't have to worry about it. I'm getting really detailed with this face. I'm just a doodle. Guys, what are you doing? This is going to take forever. I know at one point I'm probably just going to pause this and just try to get some more done. <laughs> and then I'll probably just show the end result because I don't know I don't know I don't know how much I'm gonna put in I literally just was kind of like well let's just draw my one robot she's not even she's only 15 I don't even have a cool outfit on her yet but you know I'm just gonna draw my robot um yeah um I can go ahead and yeah, it's, it's stuff like that. I know the Chicoli Oracle, that one doesn't bother me, um, with the, um, that doesn't look right. Okay, that looks a bit better, I think. Like, that one doesn't bother me when it comes to, um, that one card with the, it's just go, it, it's just arcing into, like, I think it's a bunny's mouth, if I remember correctly. Like, that one's just so, like, <laughs> I don't even know what to think of it. Like, it's just so, like, I guess, like, maybe it's because it looks so fake and more almost silly in a way that it doesn't bother me, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, that one's, like, the exception <laughs> to, like, all of it. And I just like that oracle anyway. Um, sometimes seeing... Oh, I think that too far over. Um, having a character... I, I know with the um, steampunk tarot, it doesn't bother me. Because I didn't even know she was pregnant until like I started reading the book. I'm like, oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, it just... Like, having a... the I don't like it when the Empress is pregnant either anyway. I'd rather just... Especially since I don't really think of motherly, unless maybe the emperor's there, because then it goes mother fatherly. But yeah, but yeah, just mm, stuff like that. Like, no. Um, they. I'll do day twenty-two. What's one? Share one tarot myth you used to believe and why you stopped believing it. Um, I remember I kind of was like, did I actually mention it? I I did kind of think I mentioned it a bit in the um reversals it's, it's literally the reversals bit like i thought that you had to read reversals and it was like a thing um but you don't you don't want to and it's like oh, i don't want to like yeah i just i thought that 
basically it's just anything to do with the whole idea of you have to read a certain way. I thought that was more so with that, but it's not true. You could read however you want. As long as it works for you and you just keep doing the same thing and it just, yeah, just, you do you, you know? Um, but I didn't know that. And I remember, like, with my dad's girlfriend, <laughs> she was like, oh, you gotta read the reversals. Like, when I was doing, like, a reading for her kids and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know the reversals, you know? It's like, I don't wanna do them anyway. I didn't say I didn't wanna do them anyway, but you know. <laughs> and then, um, she, I, she was like, oh, use the book. So, because I had a little white book. It was the Chicoli Tarot. The Chicoli Tarot does not come with a reverse meaning. And I'm like, oh, there's no reverse meaning. She's like, oh, the deck's not meant to be like reverse. And that's like, oh, I don't, I wasn't going to do it anyway. <laughs> well, then, you know. But yeah, it's just, mm, like, and, and the whole idea of, um, like, you got to read this way and this way. Like, I don't like that. You know what I mean? I, nah. I'm trying to simplify this as much as I can in the body. <laughs> I have no idea how she would put her arm up. Um, try figuring out. I'll draw the arm. She's got like a shoulder thing, and I'm like, how do I draw that? Like, if she's like, I don't know. I guess if uh, self modeling, like, uh, I guess it would still probably be there. Be like. I wanted to hold the cup like this. Um. In her left hand. Or I'm not. I not sure about drawing hands. I'm not that good at arms either. Oh well, most of her shoulders at least covered by that thing, thing, shoulder thing. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I keep just, uh, let me see if I can get another day in. Um, oh, okay, um, share some of your favorite deck storage. This one, I was not sure how I was going to do it, um, and I didn't know if I was going to wait or not, um, just because some of my other ones are going to end up looking really cool. Um, but I guess I mentioned it now. Um, most of my, pretty much all of my decks, um, if the box is good enough, it kind of stays in the box. But other, if it's, you know, if I don't want to keep it in the box, I just keep it in a bag that was kind of either made by... I made a few, and then my Nana, my one Nana has made a few, made some, and then my other Nana has made some as well. And I am making her way too skinny. I didn't make the chest plate big enough, I don't think. Uh, no, it's a bit. Oh, I needed to be more out on that side. Oops. But yeah, um, they're gonna get embroidered though. I wanted to do it myself, but my aunt's kind of bored and she wants to do some of them, so. I guess she's gonna do some of the embroidering as well. But the one that, there it is, that I think is adorable. Is this? It's not a tarot deck, um, but I got it for storage for this specific deck. I got it on Etsy, and I mentioned it in a previous video. Video, and I actually linked to the shop as well. It was a Sunny Disposition, I believe the name is, if I remember correctly. Her, I think her name's Jenny Park. Her artwork's so cute. Yeah, it's. Got the wardens on it, fight the blight, you know the warden saying. It's for the Dragon Age Inquisition tarot. And then of course it's in a bag in a bag. And currently that bag's in a bag um, as well because I've got it um, in a bag. 
because I'm like slowly putting them away after scanning um, core cards and my favorite cards. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and okay, that looks a bit better. I think she's still too skinny though. I'm just kind of just going. <laughs> um probably not going to be super detailed. I'm just kind of going. Um, what do I keep then adding stuff? Okay, um, what's the day after that? Share the card that was hardest for you to get when you were first learning the tarot and how do you feel about the card now? Um... That would put me up to Monday. I know, um, the 23rd, I can't do that one, so. Yeah, I'll just keep going. Uh, I'll stop this really quick, because it's running. And I'm back in, like, no time. Power of putting videos together. Wow. Okay, what was it again? It was, um, 22 is share the card that was the hardest for you to get when you were first learning the tarot and how do you feel about the card now the hardest one that i can think of um which even after i pretty much knew all of them like and i could still read the card it was just harder and i didn't entirely get it, it was judgment it will it was more of like certain decks i cannot remember what decks um i have a lot of decks i got what 42 tarot decks, if you count my two minis. 44 if you count my two backup ones. I keep it on my wall because on my bullet, my whiteboard just, just, um, because there's so many I can't keep track of the actual number. And I don't feel like counting them every single time. So, um, yeah, there were certain decks, some of them. That don't have the more traditional, like, angel-y kind of thing that helped me be able to read it differently. Because before I was like, okay, um, angel judgment. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now it's more of like, um, a calling to like, uh, like a higher purpose, like, your true purpose, that kind of thing. And it's a lot easier to read now, especially in those certain decks. <clears throat> so I don't, I didn't like like it before and it's still not my favorite, definitely not my favorite in the majors, but like at least I can kind of like read with it now. So. I'm gonna stop on the belt. <laughs> oh well. I haven't even redrawn the arm like I was going to. I'm just going right into the legs. <laughs> and the, um, I can't remember the card. Whatever the Titans wear. They're like, I don't know. What, I'm... And of course it keeps blowing in the breeze, which makes it harder to draw. Um, might as well go ahead and talk about a couple other ones before I pause it. Um, I can't do day 23. I haven't broken up with any decks. There's like, one that I've only really used to read with my brother, <clears throat> and I have another deck that I just feel like it's not, it wasn't time to read with it, but I haven't broken up with any decks. Thank goodness. So, I can't really do day 23. But day 24 is... Oh, where did I put it? Is it there? Is that it? No. Yes. Yes. I actually have it out. Um, it's... If you could design a 29th tarot card that everyone would use, what would it look like and what would it represent? Uh, since I've made a deck for myself, I have designed, um, two extra cards. So, it would probably be more, if, if I had to pick one, it would probably be the one over the other. Um, 
that would have to be included. The two cards that were in it, one of them had the four portraits of the guys, which I showed uh, the one of Ryan just on camera. Um, and that card was called All Time Low. And it was, it's about, um, I, let me see how I phrased it. Um, go and do what you love. Today you might be just a fan, but tomorrow you'd be the next one. You could be the next one sharing your music with the world. Anything is possible. So that was what that bonus card. I don't use that deck often. Um, so that's why I can't remember. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, that's what that one meant. And then the other one was called the fans. And on the card you have my hand which I traced did I trace it? no no I didn't trace it I just drew my hand and then I also drew my brother's hand and my one friend's hand so my hand had the a gender flag with uh, the asexual flag and the aromantic flag I can't remember what order I put them in I might have I had it so like they they all um went well together but yeah, that's what mine looked like. My brother's was the trans flag, and then my friend's was just the rainbow flag. And I did that, and then I just, I tried, it didn't look that good because I was trying to use, um, past, you know, the pastel things. That are they're kind of like crayons, but they're not. Um, just to see if I could, um, I didn't want to redo it, so I just didn't redo it. So, um, but the meaning of that one was even though people are different, we can all come together for one band or one cause. So I would probably go with that one as my design, although I do still like the first one. And then that would be the meaning. And I still like the hand idea, um, although it would expand and it would probably be a lot more hands. And it could be different flags, it could be different skin colors, and it would just be all these people coming together. And that's kind of what the card would be about. Although all time low one, the all time low one is still good, I just don't know what it would look like. The reason why like that card works so well, especially with the meanings, is because um, as they've called themselves is a what was the quote? Um, fanboys that got the chance, I think, was the quote that they called themselves. So yeah, that's um, kind of where I got that from. Why it worked so well? Why I wouldn't know what else, what other, what else to do <laughs> after maybe draw like another band. <laughs> I'm trying to get the arm in now. But I'm not very good at arms. I'm not very good at drawing bodies. I don't draw often. I don't like practicing. I want everything to look polished, so. It's an issue with me. Everything's gotta be perfect, which is why I don't get too many um practicey kind of stuff in. I will say, this is looking better than I thought it was going to, though. Oh, I know how I'm going to do this. And then I don't have to do the freaking hand thing. <laughs> I don't have to draw the hand and then holding the cup. Yes! Okay, so. Still kind of have to draw a hand. Look at it. Uh... Man, there's so much armor. I don't know how to draw the armor on the arm. Um, yeah, I want to draw this arm and then I'll pause it, I think. You know, I'm going to do day 25 too. I'm, I'm just going to get a bunch of them out of the way because why not? And I keep neglecting the tarot tag that I'm doing on the Tumblr. <laughs> so maybe I can that can out. Make me focus more on that by getting a bunch of these done. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I can't angle this, so I don't know how it's gonna look, but that's okay. 
It's not her finished armor anyway. Okay, so day 25 is Terror Oracle, which would you read for the rest of your life if you had to pick one and why? And it would be Tarot. I mean, that's the one that... I was trying to figure out how to draw that. I don't know how it's going to look with her arm like that. I I mean, I just... I, I prefer Tarot. It's the easiest for me. I also have a bunch of Tarot decks. Um, <laughs> I just... I like Tarot more. Um, it's just... I find it way easier to read. And so, and I just, you know, like, it's the one that got me more into just divination. And I, I, would, I would just stick with it. I'll just stick with it. Because it's the one that I feel like I'm going to be doing for years to come, too. I keep hearing the alarm go off, but I don't know how to turn it off, so it's just stuck like that. But hands up here... Then it will be no, no, it would be da 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 da. I don't know how that would look. <laughs> um. You know, I'm just gonna make it up because. It's not going to look like that forever anyway. Just do it like that. So why not? <laughs> um, what's 26? Oh, uh, I'll do 26 too. Um, because I'm just drawing anyway. Okay, so 26 is your thoughts on Tarot becoming mainstream. And this one kind of, um, I was thinking of with, uh, 20. And it doesn't bother me. It's more so the idea of what can happen to it with the tarot myths is what bothers me. Because, as I said, I don't like it when people are like, you gotta read it this way, you gotta read it that way, you know? And I feel like if it becomes more main, you know, more mainstream and just, um, as in, like, reading and not just, like, for artwork or, like, in shows where it's, like, ooh, divination kind of thing. Um, if reading itself became, becomes more mainstream, um, I'm afraid that the whole idea that you gotta read a certain way, you gotta read the reversals, you've gotta do it like this is gonna be more of a thing. Um, so just considering how, like, some people can be, like, like, not like this community. I, I mean, I know there's some people in the community, um, I follow, like, a is it diviner confessions or something on tumblr so i know that like it can be like that in the community but like the people that i've watched and stuff like that's it's not an issue um but i just imagine like just if you're just on the internet in general like you can get how people be like no it's gotta be like this and i feel like that's gonna be um an issue you know I'm trying to think how this hand would be. Oh wait, maybe like... I am concentrating, so no talk. <laughs> um... Okay, that doesn't look too bad. She's wearing gloves, so it's fine. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm just afraid with more so of that kind of stuff, of what, 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 what could happen, you know? So, it's more of that. Because, uh, I just, I don't like that, you know? And, yeah. So it's more of just, like, I don't really mind it as long as maybe the idea of you can do your own thing gets set in. I'm just afraid that that wouldn't get set in if, like, the reading 
reading tarot becomes mainstream. Uh, I'm gonna save like the other ones, um, so I don't end up doing all of them. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's seventeen to twenty six. <laughs> And I feel like the video is probably way, way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to finish this up. Um, I don't know if I'll get the legs in. And I might not finish all the arm. But most of it will be done. Um, I don't feel like doing all of it. But yeah. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll just come back on and be like, look, this is it. Okay. Let me do that now. Oops. Oh, my doodle drawing thing is done. <laughs> so, yeah. No, how well you can see that. Yeah, I just kind of, um, drew, like, kind of what she looks like. I didn't make her wide. I have an issue with making characters wide. I don't know, but, you know, and then, um, she's an, I'm, I'm playing an arc titan, so, like, electricity, so I kind of just made the cup so it's, like, floating above her hand with some electricity. But, yeah, I like how her face came out. I feel like you can't really see any pencil work. I, I did it in a 2H. <laughs> I have a tendency to be like, oh, I'll start with a 2H and then I'll work my way up and then I just, just do a 2H. <laughs> but, yeah. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'll take a picture of it and that can be the, um, the, the, the thumbnail, thumbnail, or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so anyway, that was day 17 to 26. Hopefully I wasn't mumbling too much. I kept going, mm -hmm, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm Des from Arrow Tarot, and I'm logging off, and gonna log in.